A sleep dilution. Minor word. Oh, this <laughs> okay, let's do a couple variations of a dilution. What happened? What would happen if I double the volume? What would happen to the molarity? It goes down by half. So it would be 1.2 molar. So if you double the volume, whatever you do, like double, triple, whatever to the volume, goes half, third, et cetera, to the molarity, and vice versa, because of that relationship in the upper right hand corner. So if the volume went up 10 times, what would be my new molarity? If it went up 10 times, it'd have to go down 10 times for the molarity of 0.24. Okay, uh, let's try another variation. What if I add, Um, six molar HCl. And I'm going to add, let's say there's one liter of this, and I add oops, one liter of this. What's the new molarity? So I mix both of those. What's the new molarity of the HBR? Do you, uh, do you use the 6 in finding the new molarity? No. It's totally irrelevant. Look at the formula. Initial uh, is 2.4. What's the initial volume? One, uh, the final molarity, we don't know what's the final volume. <coughs> Two, so what happens to molarity? Goes down by half. It's the same problem as the previous one. I double the volume, it doesn't matter how I double it, it goes down by half. Okay? So the volume only is what's controlling its own molarity. Now, what would happen to the molarity of the HCl? It also goes down by half, but to three, because it started at six. Okay? So, again, it doesn't matter what you're adding. It's going to go down by half if you're adding, essentially, water. Okay? Uh, there we go. That's kind of it. Okay, so that could be written in words, but that's the general idea. Use the formula. Okay, next. Let's, uh, let me see. I don't know if I have a limiting reaction. We're doing 16 right here. Probably, I don't know if I'll do all of it. We'll see. I haven't read it all yet. So let me write the reaction down. Uh, the reaction C6H6 plus Br2, is it balanced? I think so. Number 16 right there. Okay, so 30 grams, 65 grams produced in the following. What's the yield? So. I want to know, for part A, I want to know the mass. How do I know this is a limiting reactive problem? When you're given information by more than, about more than one reactant, it has to be, because you can do the stoichiometry starting from either side or either molecule. So that's, in math, over-specified. So in order to control that, you actually have to do both uh, stoichiometry calculations, or that's the way I solve it. And then, uh, yeah, this is HBR. Can't read that. Uh, and then you gotta pick the smallest answer. So I'll set it up. It looks like the solution will be. Uh, this is a fall 17 exam, practice exam for me. 
Okay, so it uh, doesn't matter which one you start with. I'll set it up for you. You go 30 grams of the benzene, and then you'd find the molar mass, use a periodic table, and then uh, you'd go to the molecule of interest, so one mole of C6H5Br for one mole of C6H6. And then the molar mass of that final molecule. So this will give you grams of C6H6 or uh, C6H5Br. You gotta do the exact same thing with Br2. Just use its numbers. So 65 grams. Got to find the molar mass of Br2. And then you say there's one mole of C6H5Br going to the same place, but you're coming from the Br2. Then again, you need the molar mass of C6H5Br. That will give you, again, the mass of C6H5Br. Are you going to pick the number, the answer that's smaller or larger? Smaller. smaller. That will be your final answer. It will have come from the limiting reactant. According to this, let's see, this was 16. I'm sure the answer is somewhere. Uh, 66. Uh, yeah, I guess the benzene is limiting. Yeah, benzene is limiting. So the top end, this answer would be the correct answer. Anyway, uh, the next part of this is pretty classic as well. Uh, how much is left over? So since I know that because I looked at the answer, this is the limiting one, then am I using more or less than 65 of the BR2? Less, because this is too much, it's in excess. So I'm actually using less than 65. It could be 64, it could be 10 grams, any number less than 65. The way I solve for this, is I take the actual answer, so it's the one in blue up here. So whatever that number was, I go backwards to the one in excess, which will be the Br2. So you need the molar mass of C6H5Br. There's one mole of Br2 for every one mole. C6H5Br, and then one more step times uh, the molar mass of Br2. And this will get you the grams of Br2, and that number better be less than 65, or you're screwed up. Okay? So because it's in excess, so 65 was too much. This is a very classic limiting reactive problem. Okay? Pretty normal level of difficulty right here. Let me return this. Thank you. All right. Check. Uh, simultaneous. I do have one of those. Uh, sometimes some of your classes may not cover this. Uh, so zone in, zone out as you are pleasing, as this pleases you. This is a pretty classic question for me. I think it was an exam question. I give you an overall reaction, the one in the question. I give you three simultaneous reactions below. And I want the multipliers, alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay? Multiple choice. Uh, if you're gaming the test, for example, if you get for alpha 2, it's automatically D. 
If you will give me the exam. If you trust yourself, I guess. So let's see how we feel. Uh, yeah. All right. So what I do, my method of solving is I look for any molecule up here that appears total of twice, once here and once down here. Is this a good choice? Yeah, it appears here, and I'll put a blue squiggly, and there. All right, so because I can't change overall reaction, what must the multiplier beta be? Negative one. Oh, done. Do you want to do the rest of it? Yes. Okay. Let's say you don't trust yourself. We do, but for the, your neighbor who doesn't, uh, next, uh, is M2 a good choice? No, it appears total three times. One, two, three. Too many, too much thinking. A CF4. That's a good choice. Let's do a green sheet. Okay? Um, now, because I can't change that, gamma must be negative 2. I've got to flip it and multiply by 2. Or you could have just looked here. Okay. Next, is HF a good choice? Okay, let's get a different color. I'll put a box. Um, so it appears right here. If, if this can't be changed, alpha must be two. Yeah, I need four, which ma makes sense. Of course, if none of them match, you probably messed up. Uh, push them back, just stretch them off. Yes. Uh, what molecule are you looking at? Okay, be more specific besides all of them. Okay, okay. Uh, because they're on opposite sides, do not want to cancel. So you're thinking canceling. I need this to match this, so when they add, it's here. So that's why I have to have a minus sign. So I get this on the left-hand side. So if I think of the equation A equals 7, I multiply through by minus 1, and I get 7 equals A. Flips it over. And you would want to cancel if it was intermediate, but that was not an intermediate. 